Ed Gunn Leshy presents Backyard Bully. I usually leave possums alone. They're generally harmless and have a huge plus, at least for me. They eat the rats that I shoot and I can't find, especially those ones that get buried in the rocks over there. They also eat ticks, so again, another plus. But all of a sudden, though, we have at least one, maybe two, really, really big and overly aggressive possums. They got on the backyard bully list when my wife had to rescue Piper from a courtyard standoff the other night. This is Piper. In her early years, she kept the backyard bullies in check. But as you can see from the enthusiasm of this epic fetch session I'm having with her, she's getting a little long in the tooth. Her reign as the principal of the yard is over, and she really needs some help. So help arrived from Russia. These are her buddies, the Edgun Leshy, Velez, and the R5M, the new tamers of the backyard bully. We're going to revisit those possums here in a minute, but our story begins with the skunk. In Piper's early years, much to our dismay, she gave zero <laughs> about the weapon the skunk really possessed. She once proudly dropped a skunk's head right at my feet. It was her prize from what must have been just an epic battle. Unfortunately, that prize came with a major price for her and her parents. At what I remember was like 2 in the morning. It was brutal. Anyways... We have a major overpopulation of skunks. And when I see one in mine or my neighbor's yard, it's go time. In the ranking of backyard bullies, however, the skunk is like that crazy kid who bullied with subtle fear, not actual physical force. You can actually see that in full display here as this raccoon, a high ranking backyard bully, is on high alert and gives this skunk plenty of space to nibble on the fallen bird seed. I've taken skunks with the Leshy in low power without any issue, but this one gets the R5M shooting 34 grain JSB MK2s at about 615 feet per second, so roughly 28 foot pounds. This shot is a perfect heart lung shot and it anchors it. I chamber another one here as you may have heard just in case, but I don't use it. A shot of vitals results in none or very little spray. This one had absolutely zero. Let's watch that shot again in slow motion. While I'm watching here to make sure all's good with that second one chambered, look what happens next. This giant backyard bully just walks right over the top of it. Zero respect. This raccoon is huge. It caused a lot of damage in an oak tree on my neighbor's yard as well as her attic. I knew it needed to go but was just waiting for the raccoon season to get started. I've had to chase this guy out of the yard, putting warning shots in front of him multiple times over the summer, just over and over again. This thing just would never stop going away. The kids even came inside running one day, uh, telling me that a big raccoon was hissing at him. It's time for this bully to get it. So I was actually taking a shower, and I heard a notification pop up on my phone from one of the cameras outside, and it had uh, detected some movement. Sure enough, a big old backyard bully raccoon. I grabbed the R5 with a mag full of 34 grain pellets and walked out onto my balcony and here's how it went down. That 34 grain pellet just smoked that raccoon right between the eyes. Let's watch that shot in slow motion again. you can see in slow motion I was just off center I had a slight holdover on that shot but it was just off center and it entered just basically directly between the eyes so 28 foot pounds that 34 grain pellet is plenty and it just knocks this raccoon down I don't shoot a ton of raccoons so that second shot was definitely me being overly cautious and probably a noob move but you know what I wanted to make sure it was quick I noticed the next morning when I went to retrieve the raccoon that it was orientated in a different way. It was like 180 degrees the other direction. So curious, I reviewed the footage from one of the security cameras and saw two giant possums doing a number on this dead raccoon. 
They'll be back as they think they got a free meal, but I'll be ready for them. The apparent king of the backyard bullies, the Big Bull Opossum. This massive possum has been coming through the yard around 3 or 4 a.m. almost every night. Our dog Piper's old, and she'll wake me up to go outside right around that time. So this is when we've really had those run-ins, and today was different though. This big bully came in just after dusk. Big mistake. Things escalated quickly as this big bull went broadside, and I was able to get a clean headshot. Let's watch that one again in slow motion. All right, now it's time for a little backyard bully stew. And here's the fixings. Four ounces off the possum, two ounces off the skunk, I'd suggest the back legs on the bone. Four ounces of chopped raccoon, throw in a skunk heart for flavor, and then pour in about a half gallon of chicken broth. Then all you gotta do, and this is the key part though, is you need to add 16 cups of brown sugar and five sticks of butter. That'll keep you from choking. Let that baby simmer on low heat for about six to 12 hours and bon appetit. Thanks for watching Backyard Bullies. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell button to get notified for future videos from Ed Gunleshy.